Hey, beautiful people. So I want to share an experience that I had in 2014 and how it relates to religious trauma syndrome. So back in, uh, during this, the Feast of Sukkot, I was in Hebrew roots, Messianic faith, and honoring the Feast of Sukkot. And I got a call that my mom was on her deathbed. Um, I had taken care of her for uh, about a year during her illness and, and got quite a bit of closure. But as she was on her deathbed, I was honoring the Feast of Sukkot with my husband, and we both agreed that we would finish that before going and saying our final goodbyes. Two days later, still in the Feast of Sukkot, and she passed away. Now, I look back on that and realize I was honoring this uh, feast for no good reason, uh, for several reasons. Um, the Bible is metaphor, mostly for lack of a better word, or is how the authors were trying to understand their relationship with source creator. Um, and it, it wasn't meant to be taken literally. This was not a historical uh, book. It's uh, very clearly um, an anthology of writings. Um, these, these feasts, these laws are not original to uh, that text um, borrowed and copied from other older religions. And so my job uh, at that point, remembering this situation, was to process that hurt and that trauma and try to move past it. And here I am in 2023, or this I wrote this in 20, the end of last year, and I see that this affected me very deeply as I was reading the, the, this section of the book to uh, my husband, I started crying and realized, oh my gosh, there's, there's more, there's even more to unpack. There's even more to, to heal from. And you guys are not alone. And it's, it's an ongoing process. You never know what triggers um, affect you there. You never know what is going to be problematic on a day-to-day -day basis that needs your attention and it needs your for, your forgiveness of yourself and it needs your healing and it now needs your self-care um, so that these things don't become a bowl in a china shop in your mind. And so I just want to encourage you guys, you're not alone. The process is, is, is hard sometimes, um, but it's necessary. And this is one of the reasons why I feel it so necessary to write.